Well, the main drag relative to expectations came from a very weak service sector output number. Uh, the service sector is three quarters of the economy, so this has a, a big effect. And the concern here is that the improvement we've been seeing in some of the survey data, the confidence measures, just isn't filtering through to the official economic growth measures to the extent uh, that we expected and, and, and would have hoped. Well, the worrying feature of, of today's numbers, because the, the survey, the improving surveys are not feeding through yet to uh, the GDP growth numbers, is that there is a more fundamental loss of traction in the UK economy. We, we could yet see growth in the third quarter. It may just be that the lags between the improving surveys and the official data are taking a little bit longer, but the concern must be that there is a more fundamental loss of momentum. Uh, I think whatever scenario materializes, growth is going to be fairly anemic and the recovery is going to be fairly bumpy. So it, it's, it's, we're, we're absolutely not through uh, the worst of this in terms of things like unemployment and consumer confidence and disposable income. Well, our forecast is that unemployment will continue to rise and we'll probably see quite sharp increases over the autumn and the winter. Uh, perhaps begins to level out in the early part of next year, but with growth, economic growth remaining weak, uh, we would expect unemployment to remain relatively high and, and quite sticky, uh, at least through 2011. Well, I think at the moment the, the short-term picture is that the actual data are coming in some way below the Treasury's forecasts. We now seem to be on course for the economy to shrink by at least 4.5% this year. Uh, significantly worse than projected in the budget. The bigger worry though I think still relates to the medium term projections and the extent to which growth rebounds and is sustained over the cycle. I think that's where the bigger problems will, uh, where the bigger problems lie. There are a number of factors. For, for a start, the, the, the downturn has been very broad based. No sector of the economy has, has been spared. Uh, the, the unusually severe fall in output in part relates to the, the much bigger than usual decline in inventories. Businesses are running down their stocks much more aggressively than in the past and that is having a big drag uh, in terms of the, the GDP statistics. But in terms of output by sector or expenditure, uh, there, is, there is weakness right across the economy.